All right, let's talk about the Samba. It is that time of the year that we get to do something else with the Samba. All right, a little bit of history before we start. For those of you who haven't been keeping up with the Samba project, two years ago I decided that I needed a new car and I decided that it was gonna be an electric. The only car that was electric was the Tesla and it was too much money and Elon was gonna make me wait a long time before I can get my hands on one of them. So. I decided to buy this car and convert it to electric. The problem was that this car did not look the way I wanted and so I embarked in this whole process of converting this car into this car. You can watch all the videos that I made about that conversion uh, here. I'll link them here. They're very detailed and they have tons of time lapse and stuff. Go watch those. Um, then I decided to start converting it into electric, which was the easy part compared to all the metal work that I was doing. But currently the Samba has 44 kilowatts of a mixed chemistry lithium battery pack that gives me about 150, 160 miles of range. Um, I drive it almost every day. I don't drive that much, but I do drive it every day to my shop. It gives me no problems. Uh, the electrical system has needed almost zero maintenance in the two years that I've been driving this. Um, last year, uh, the challenge was to go on a long range trip to Arizona and it was over a two, over 250 miles uh, trip. And so we documented that whole trip in this next video that you can go and watch here. But here we are a year later and now I feel like we have to push uh, this project further along. So what do we do? What do we do? The Samba runs fine. The Samba makes the trip. This year, another vehicle very similar to this one with a little bit more battery. I think that one has like 54 kilowatts of battery will accompany us and will uh, travel along with us. So, you know, but what else can we do to, to move this project along there's things that i can do here's the thing let's look at it this vehicle has mixed chemistry lithium batteries right 20 kilowatts of this battery is uh, lithium iron phosphate half of that 10 kilowatts is in the floor here i buried all those batteries there the other half is back here in this section where the uh, gas tank goes and that's uh, 20 kilowatts. The other 24 kilowatts, it's on top. And this section in the back here. Um, the problem that that causes is that this back axle has 2,000 pounds when this front axle only has 1,000. This vehicle weighs about 3,200 pounds currently. So here's what I'm thinking. Um, I have another project that has another six modules of these Tesla batteries and that's another 18 kilowatts that i can borrow and use for this project just to do some experimental thing now what we can do is take the 24 kilowatt of tesla battery modules take them off of where they're at right now and install them permanently in the floor then i can take the lithium iron phosphate batteries and put those on a little trailer and then use that as a, as a long range extender for trips like this one that's coming up. What that will do is take a bunch of weight, about 400 pounds, I think, of batteries off of the axles, put them in a, in a little trailer and it will even it out. It's about the same weight in the back axle as the front weight. And so it will allow me to put more stuff in here when we're traveling with less chance of getting a tire blown out because I'm pretty much maxing out these little wheels that I have here. That's option number one. Um, the other option is just to forget all that work of taking out the lithium iron phosphate from here and rewiring all these new modules in here because it will require some 
structural work and cutting and welding and stuff and just take the extra six modules add them to the eight modules that i have here and then put those in a trailer and just figure out how to connect that trailer to the back which when then will remove about 350 pounds off of the back axle and put it outside in the trailer and so the idea is to have a trailer that we can use keep it in your garage most of the year uh, and serving as uh, your your battery your power wall you can hang it in the wall if you want to like, just like the power wall and power your house with that battery essentially that is your house battery that then you can use whenever you want to go on a long range trip this has been done before by other people that made little battery extending trailers um i have read i have seen pictures of them i don't know that anybody's ever made a video of it and i don't know that anybody's ever shared like all the details at least i haven't seen them if you have seen that and you want to share with us do so in the comments here uh so that i can you know so that it can help me while i'm building this thing but my but the aim here is to document exactly what i'm gonna do this is fairly a simple project there are essentially no electronics involved i'm just gonna connect the batteries outside of the vehicle just the way they are right now just put a connector in between them and a few extra f feet of wire and then connect them um, i will discuss the challenges that there are while having a, a pack that is separated physically separated and having an interconnect between them like the things that you have to do is like when you shouldn't connect the both of them, you know, there are going to be some challenges. And I guess those are the ones that are we going to figure out. Um, but that's the plan. Uh, and this is going to happen in mid January. So that means we have about a month and a half to get this work done. I already have a trailer. I might just have to modify it because I was going to plan to use it for something else. But that is the work that is going to happen in the Samba in the next month and a half so that this trip we move the project along a little bit further along um, having extra 18 kilowatts of extra battery will well will be beneficial in that we're not going to be running these batteries at their limit last time um, i'm trying to get about 140 miles of a you know 150 theoretical miles which is running the batteries really really low and especially being mixed chemistry you know that's i'm just asking for trouble then again i'm proving that these batteries work you know uh, as much as people like to say that i'm gonna burn up my samba and burn down my garage uh it seems like i'm not uh, very good at that as others are and so that's the plan here um stay tuned for this project we will be working on the samba in the next coming weeks all right guys we'll see you my name is jehu garcia i'm a business owner self-professed engineer and an overall dreamer for the past two years i've been building my dream car something that retains all the elegance of the classic 50s design but at the same time make up the latest the modern technology offers now, how do you exactly do that by making it electric follow me on my journey through all the struggles, the challenges, but ultimately the satisfaction of growth and success. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to leave some comments below. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also think about becoming our patron by following the patron link. Uh, and don't forget to follow me on social media. All right, guys. See you guys.